And it does bring me to a quote one of the scientists said. She said, this is one of those cases where extraordinary claims are going to require extraordinary evidence. And we may know that there are some people, especially in the UFO field, who don't like that saying. They're like, that's not not how science works. Science doesn't uh, require extraordinary evidence. I completely disagree. And plus, you're looking at the term extraordinary. The idea that life is out there and we can confirm it, I think that's extraordinary. So any evidence we're going to have to that end is going to be extraordinary kind of by nature. But let's even back up a little bit and say, well, why does something, why do certain categories of of scientific discovery need more evidence than others? Well, if they're, remember, we're getting back to this scientific consensus. Scientists don't want to be wrong. And, you know, there are times where we get really excited about something that could be extraordinary, and then it does, turns out to be wrong. And that's a huge letdown, and it can be really damaging to that field of study. So you always need to temper expectations, uh, and you need to be really, really sure. So in this case, they are going to be looking for more evidence and, and for this extraordinary claim. It's just the way it goes. If you're looking for a scientific consensus, we're all humans, you're going to need some extraordinary evidence. Sorry, that's the nature of things. But it's probably better it's that way because if we go off of bad information, we can make big mistakes and we don't want to be doing that. Uh, We need to confirm these sort of extraordinary possibilities.